Everyone gets their trolley and they'll all stand around that carousel where your luggage comes out and they go, luggage. And have you seen your luggage come through that sort of black hole? It had come through and it's like a hostage who just had his blindfold whipped off. It had come through and he'd go like, ah. what happened? <laughs> what the fuck was all that about? <laughs> See the rich folks' luggage come through, the Samsonites, they come through and go like, ah. yes, hello, I fly all the time. Everyone gets their bags, you know, and they're on the way out the door. There's always one bag left. Whose bag is that? There's always one lonely bag going around on its own, going like, wait, wait for me. Don't leave me here. I don't speak Spanish. <laughs> and everyone goes outside, you know, and you, get on, you kind of get on that coach. It's only what I've observed. Do you know what I mean? It's mental. You get on this coach to go off to your hotel. As soon as you sit down on that coach, who stands up but your representative? And she'll stand up and she'll go, Hello, my name is Zoe. <laughs> and I've been shagged by everybody in Calamongo. <laughs> you go shopping with them because it is their jungle. You get into the high street with a woman and they do this. They go, Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Follow me, Tesco's. Mmm, <laughs> interesting. Mmm, -hmm, half price, come on. <laughs> you follow them around, going like, ah, eh, half price, half price. <laughs> like fucking Rain Man. You're right, you're right, yeah. <laughs> Playing the cards, right, yeah. But it is shopping. You go shopping, they've got this amazing thing. If you know you park up, you've seen a bloke with a push chair, you get it out of the boot and you go, ah, how does this work? How does this fucking work? It's like the cryptum factor. You know, women do it all with one leg. They get the thing out, they go, <laughs> Take your wife to try on some shoes. Fucking nightmare. <laughs> they stand in the shop and go out. Walk up in jail. <laughs> Walk up and down like you were royal. <laughs> You're trying on skis. They go out. Walk up in jail. <laughs> Have you seen women trying on shoes? They only try one at a time. They do, they go like, ah, do you like that? <laughs> I don't know, you look like a fucking mental person! <laughs> Shoes for you, lot. <laughs> Please get me out of this fucking shop. <laughs> but players are always spitting and grubbing as well. Every time I play, you see a player like, oh, no. <laughs> and it's great because as soon as they score a goal, they go and slide in it. <laughs> yes! Shite. <laughs> they always deny a foul. It doesn't matter what, you know what they do? They hack somebody down, they go, <laughs> always deny it. They go, ah, fuck off! <laughs> 40,000 people see him do it and he's like, ah, fuck off, you're all wrong! <laughs> it's the linesman, have you seen this guy? The loneliest job in the world. He's just got the one flag. Do you know what I mean? Just up and down all day, up and down. Fucking bored. <laughs> yes, I'm still here. <laughs> I 
seen that, seen all that, seen that. I don't know, my hotel, in my hotel it says breakfast from 7 to 11. Well, after 9 o'clock, I could not eat another thing, I swear. <laughs> it's like you open the wardrobe and there's like a pillow and a blanket. That's the worst night's sleep I've ever fucking had, I'll tell you that. <laughs> <Don't know. laughs> I was in a very nice hotel. I actually spent four days in my hotel room because I kind of got in, I closed the door, and there's this sign saying, Do not disturb. I went, Fuck, I can't get out. <laughs> Bloke knocked on my door, he went, there was a fax for you, Ms. Trevins. I said, what did it say? He went, Aah! I understood it, which was weird. <laughs> but I found out, you know the coach trip, right? That's just for one reason and one reason only. You know, just to see what hotel everybody's going to get. It's true, because you'll stop outside a real shitty hotel and you go, oh, please don't let it be me. <laughs> oh, I don't want that hotel. Please don't let it be me. Please don't let it be me, please. And it's not. Somebody get off the coach and you go, <laughs> <laughs> they will. They go off the coach and they go, ah, yeah, fuck off. They go. <laughs> <laughs> but that's why we arrive at Air Hotel like at 2 a.m. in the morning. Because they don't want to show you how crappy your hotel is. Because it's so dark, you know? And as soon as you get off the coach, it's your wife's fault. You go, ah, you fucking booked it. Yeah? <laughs> I don't know. I've never been to Spain, never. I don't fucking know. You get into your hotel, they book you in, you know? And when they book you in, it's hilarious. They give you, a f the, the key for your door is this big, the key ring is fucking that big. <laughs> Don't lose it, I fucking won't. <laughs> I mean, you might as well drag your bloody room around with you, do you know what I mean? <laughs> if I put this in my trunks, I'm gonna sink. <laughs> Basically, we are animals, you know, and we act nothing like animals, you know, we take all the time and the trouble to go and get a woman and a woman to get a bloke. Animals don't do that. It's like that. Oh, you, come here. <laughs> Fuck off. <laughs> no chocolates, no dinner, no parents. No. Fuck off. <laughs> Fuck off. <laughs> we talk to each other during sex, you know, you know, how many times have you seen like a couple of pandas in the zoo going, who's your daddy then, eh? <laughs> you are! <laughs> sorry, sorry. Whoops. We dress up, we adorn ourselves to turn our partners on. How many times have you seen David Attenborough go, and now we see the anteater dressed as a policeman. <laughs> and is made to the French maid. Go on, sir. <laughs> It's like, that's how they, I don't know, it's weird, because you know what it's like when your wife talks to you, do you know what I mean? You never listen. All you see is their mouth going, mm, mm, mm. <laughs> And you're watching the telly, you go, ah, yeah, yeah, what, yeah, I'm watching the fucking telly, what, yeah, fuck <laughs> off, yeah, ah! <laughs> But that's how they get us, because the next day they go, I told you yesterday! <laughs> Oh, it's all up here, love. <laughs> what are you fucking talking about? <laughs> amazing. Because women in carrier bags, it amazes me no end. Because have you seen like a bloke with carrier bags? Useless. <laughs> a guy with carrier bags goes, ah, go, go, ah, 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 ah. <laughs> can't <laughs> fucking do that. Uh, oh, I can make it to the lamppost. I can make it to the lamppost. Yeah, go, go, go. Okay. Do you ever do that thing where you put the bags down, you switch around with the handles? You, they must be lighter. I fold the bags. <laughs> <laughs> you get four foot away from your front door and a handle goes. You go, I'm going down! <laughs> Some things freak me out. It's like outside the supermarket. Have you seen that bloke? This bloke, he's, he's always outside the supermarket. You know, he works for the supermarket. He collects trolleys. You know, I, don't, I think his name's Malcolm, he's very odd. <laughs> he, I mean, uh, but he's very odd, he collects trolley. Malcolm the tanker captain. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? He goes, like, anyway! <laughs> it takes five miles to turn round! <laughs> Some 
some people keep carrier bags to, you know, to pick up dog shit. <laughs> they do. You've seen that little old lady with that dog going like that. Oh, look at that. That's a big head, isn't it? <laughs> oh, oh, that's a smallie. That's a smallie, that one, isn't it? There's a good boy. Oh, it's Ronnie. dog thinking at this point, he's probably going, ah, she's fucking mental. <laughs> That's the equivalent to you or I sat on the toilet and a wicket keeper behind you going, when you're ready, mate. <laughs> How's that? <laughs> what does a dog think when you come in with all that shopping? You go, ah, fucking hell. It's like another, what's the program? I watched Casualty the other day. It's, like, it's always the same, isn't it? The same setup for the show. You know who's going to be in the show. Because there'd be like some old guy fiddling with the electrics, going like that. Oh, I'll be all right. <laughs> Whatever's going to happen to me. He's in it. He's fucking in it, isn't he? <laughs> there'd be a lorry driver going like that. Hello, love. Yeah, I'll be on with no injuries whatsoever. Bye. <laughs> He's in it. He's in it this week. Hair dryers. You know the hair dryers already blowing, and yet people wave it like that. What's that? To get more wind? <laughs> I mean, what do you fucking do that and get a real breeze going? <laughs> and they don't mind taking anything back. It's true. Men never take anything back. They go like, ah, that's all right, love. <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> now, I wanted some air up my leg, any rare. <laughs> Women don't care, they're straight in the shop, going like that. This blows! <laughs> I've had it under the microscope, there's a slight fucking weave deficiency in there. Take it back! <laughs> and it's like, I don't know, murderers are coming out of the woodwork. This is what's getting me. Every two weeks, it seems, some guy, there's a press conference and he's sat there going, Sheila, if you're out of the loft, please get in touch. <laughs> he did it. He fucking did it. <laughs> you know, you know. The only people they don't know are the police. They stood next to him and go, like, we should continue to arrest the wrong people until we realise it's him. <laughs> you know, right, I watched the other day. Tennis. Tennis is one big bolt up. I swear to you, because in tennis, I don't know, it's like, who invented it? Some cheat. In tennis, they go, <laughs> 15 love. 15? Shut up. One! <laughs> Where did you get 15 from? <laughs> you can't score a goal in football and they go 15! <laughs> in tennis they go <laughs> 30, love! Fuck off! <laughs> Two! <laughs> it's him on that high chair, he's making it up. He's he, he sat up there like some kid who can't eat his dinner properly. He's like, ah, 15! Ah, 30! Juice! Juice! I want some juice! <laughs> the stuff they wear, the outfits are fantastic to make you go quicker, faster. I think they should get back to basics on the shoe front. Yeah, let's have a real race. Let's have the 100 metres dash in flip-flops. <laughs> Do you know when they go out? <laughs> go! <laughs> I get so nervous, and you know what? I've tried everything for my nerves. I used to drink before I came on stage, but drinking is bad for your body because it makes you do things that you wouldn't normally do and say things that you wouldn't normally say. So I'd walk on stage after a couple of drinks and I'd go, hey! and then walk off. <laughs> it's weird when you're at the pub, though, isn't it? If you've had loads of beer and stuff, it's weird. You say everybody's name about nine times. You go, ah, John, 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 John. Because that's how many you can see. Do you know what I mean? John, John. Fucking John! <laughs> and I mean it, that's another one. No, 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 I mean it! <laughs> no, no, I mean it, huh? It's not the drink talking, it's me! <laughs> Ooh! That's the drink talking, man, isn't it? <laughs> 
every bloke that comes out the pub has to go to the toilet. I don't know. It's, you know, they come out the pub, they find the nearest toilet, which is usually a shop doorway. They go, like, ah, gotta take a piss. <laughs> I gotta take a piss. <laughs> I don't undo me flies. <laughs> <laughs> and it's weird because you can't control your body. Like this leg wants to go this way, and this leg wants to go this way. And you start having a go at people because you're full of, like, you want to have a go. It's like, come here, you twat. <laughs> you're running away, you coward. get down to your street where you live, you know, and you get to the end of your driveway and everything changes. You know, it's like, control, control. And that leg goes there like that. Hold on, son. Fuck you, what a lad. That leg goes there. Fuck you, what a lad, you're working as a team. you get your front door key out, you know, it's like a lunar landing, it's so precise, it's like up a bit, left a bit, <laughs> fuck, wrong house, wrong bloody house. <laughs> uh, <laughs> and it's because you've had loads to drink, it's like a conspiracy, you go, ah, somebody switched my street around. <laughs> I fuck, live there. And you get into your house, you start talking to inanimate objects, you'll close the front door, you go, <laughs> She'll fucking hear you. <laughs> it's like the door's going. <laughs> yes, you did. I bloody heard you. <laughs> I'll see you in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> and you go upstairs, you know, to your bedroom where your wife's at. You open the bedroom door and you go, ah, Jane, Jane, fish. Jane, <laughs> Jane, <laughs> Jane, fuck it, Jane, Jane, Jane. I swear to you, love, I do not know these women. <laughs> God, look at me, I'm sweating. Ollie's here. I should keep fit. I, I used to go jogging, like, I don't know, four miles a day. I've done it for two weeks. I got so fucking far away from my house, I couldn't get back. Because <laughs> your mum could lift anything. Do you remember when you was a kid, your mum would go off shopping, come back on the bus with all those bags, you know? Not like now, go to the supermarket, load it in the car. No. Your mum would get off the bus with 20 bags in each hand. You know, she had fucking hands like Ray Clements, you know? <laughs> you know two fucking weeks worth. <laughs> Jack like the bus in one of the bags. I'll fucking carry that and all. <laughs> Would you like a taxi? Yeah, bag it. I'll take it. <laughs> and you haven't said anything to your wife, you know, since you've been married. You haven't even acknowledged her. But, I don't know, tonight you're wearing pissed vision. And tonight, Jean Boiler is Cindy Crawford. <laughs> I really fancy you, Jane. Oh, I love you, Jane. And you haven't said anything to her in a year, you know, and you're determined to be romantic. And inside your head, it's like, how can I compare thee to a summer's day? <laughs> but what comes out is like, ah, oh, you fuck it. <laughs> Sorry about the sick. <laughs> and the patch. Ladies and gentlemen, would you please welcome the Lee Evans Trio?